Hello Vikes, I'm Carly Bond and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Make sure you are staying safe and following hallway expectations. Make sure to abide by the signs on the floor in the hallways. They are there to help with keeping people six feet apart. Try and stay six feet apart when walking through the halls. Sometimes it may be difficult, but keep as much distance as possible. Make sure when wearing your mask, it not only covers your mouth, but also your nose. When washing your hands, make sure to take at least 20 seconds and use plenty of soap. Make sure to wash your hands before and after lunch. My guest night at the pad is tonight from 4 to 8. Make sure to head out and support the dance team. If you are planning to take the ACT test in the future, there is a prep class on October 7th. Check Schoology for more information. Viking Brew has a new promotion. Every time you buy a 20 ounce drink, you can enter your name and guess the amount of candy in the bucket for a chance to win. The winner will be chosen on October 31st. Jake Hillard caught up with Coach Stevie to see how the girls' cross-country season is going. Uh, what's your outlook on the season so far? Uh, so far, we've, uh, we've competed in three meets, um, to be completely honest with you. We've been happy that we've been at least able to get three meets in with the whole situation that we're in. Um, and, and, and right now we're improving every, every, every meet the girls are improving. And, uh, and at this point in the season, that's kind of what we're looking for. Um, we've done pretty good as a team. We, our best times are looking pretty good right now. We're just hoping to win regionals and place top half at state. Uh, which girls have stepped up this season and shown some good leadership? Uh, we have we have great uh, upperclassmen, um, really, when it comes to both our, our junior and our senior class, um, uh, when it comes to, to leadership, whether it be um, leading us in stretches, we, we got a couple of, of stretch leaders, um, kind of just to throw out some names, you know, we got Emma Schultz and, and Gabby Grace kind of really take control of that. Um, pretty much everyone who's run, like everyone has improved on their best times, I think, this year. So, yeah. So how has COVID affected you guys so far? Um, one of the big changes is um, normally uh, the boys and the girls team, um, we do workouts together. Um, and, and based on the fact that we're outside, normally that's good, that's good enough. But uh, we've actually had to, uh, because of this year, um, really separate the two teams. Um, so COVID has changed where state is being held and it got rid of the rim rock meet. And like it's limited the amount of spectators we can have. Uh, what are your like overall top goals for this season? Um, you know, really to be competitive in our in our what we call our champion par championship part of our season, um, which actually will start here two weeks from Saturday with our city championship. Um, uh, we have some some good, some good competition mainly in the city with Washburn Rural, um, and so obviously them being a six A powerhouse and in girls cross country, just continue to close that gap. Um, and then competing at league, our league is one of the toughest in the state with having Manhattan and, and, and Washburn rule and Emporia is really good this year again. Um, and so, um, you know, I, you would like to win those kinds of, uh, those kind of events, but really, um, with the competitiveness that we have, uh, we just want to make sure we compete. Yeah. I think we're going to be pretty good at state. I think we're going to place better than we have in the past few years. Uh, anything else you'd like to add? Um, we, uh, we run a couple of times here in the city. I, I know we've kind of had limited, uh, limited per or spectators allowed at some of our meets, but, uh, um, you know, if, if you want to come out and watch us run, uh, just ask one of the girls to see if, if it's a meet that they're allowing spectators and, and if they are, uh, definitely come out and, and, and see us run. Um, I just want to get under 21 minutes in a 5k and make the all city team. Now on to Zoe with the weather. 
Good afternoon Vikings. Our temperatures are changing quite drastically now in these next couple of days and we'll talk more about that in a minute. As you can see by this afternoon our temperatures will already be up in the mid 70s and by 4 o'clock our temperatures will be reaching the 80s which is the warmest we've been these past couple of weeks. For your SVTV 7 day forecast as I said earlier our temperatures are changing drastically with us getting very, very, very warm temps with all of our highs being around 80 degrees, even possibly reaching up into the 90s tomorrow. But by next week on Monday, we are seeing our temperatures lower back down into the 70s for a while longer. Now back to your anchor. That's all for today, Vikes. Have a great day.